So today we're going to be showcasing the SR Shinso. I ended up using my SR orbs on him so that he could be a max 9 table. So I want to see how good he really is. I think just pretty much all Shinsos are good in this game. I mean, we'll go through his details here. 500% damage to a single opponent. Medium chance of uh, binding that opponent for one turn. Action skill 1 deals 250% damage to a single opponent. Decreases opponent speed by 30% with a 4 turn cooldown. Now... Although you don't really use, you know, SRs in PvP, decreasing speed is always nice on Ultra Arena. Action skill 1, low chance of confusing the opponent for 2 turns, decreases the opponent's defense by 25%. So this is where, like, this is like his best skill. Um, although it doesn't do damage, lowering the enemy's defense by 25% is actually insane, and it will allow your other teammates to do extra damage. Auto skill 1, increases critical rate by 5% for every attack received which is permanent, I believe. So this is going to be crazy. He's going to get a high crit rate as long as he gets targeted. If the AI is smart and he's like the weakest character on the team, you can get his crit rate pretty high up pretty fast. Uh, auto skill 2 increases character's critical rate by 30% when HP is 30% or higher. This man has a lot of crit rate. <laughs> and what's better is that you can increase it by further by giving him an EX skill. Um, increases character's crit rate by 5%. I got skill impact by 30% for normal attacks. Power by 5%. Obviously, you want more crit rate damage and stuff like that for his EX skills. But uh, that was my first roll. For his protection, defense by 5%. Skill damage reduced by 6% for 3 turns. One time only reduced damage by 18%. Alright, so like I said, his ability board 9. But his peace route is only at the first node here. Um, this is really good, you know, if you do have the extra pieces, I wouldn't say you should buy it, but, um, getting an extra crate at the start of the battle is actually insane. It goes up to 40% if you go all the way up to here, which is very nice. It means you don't have to take less hits overall. And then if you don't use SR orbs, 7 table is probably his best spot. Uh, anything past that, I mean, I guess the 8 table is fine, but... Uh, the resources become so expensive that you'd rather just go like to URs and stuff like that. All right, so we're going to bring him onto VE Tower to showcase him off versus Endeavor. Difficulty S, of course. Cannot forget about that. And uh, because we want him to live as long as possible, the best, best build is Ned Nedjury as well as Shinso. And then for the final teammate, I don't have a Chaco, so I can't really support him. Let's just run Green Todoroki. Frick it. Um, that will do. One thing about, about Shinso is that he has limited memory selections. A lot of these memories that I have are only for 1A students. So luckily, I do have the uh, free-to-play one that will give him a power and speed increase. And yeah, with that said, let's jump into VE Tower here and see how he does. I want to see him get heaps of crits. That's really what I want to see. This is like the uh, poor man's UR Shinso, essentially. Uh, the only thing different between UR Shinso and SR Shinso is that uh, his, you know, debuff ability also um, removes a buff, cleanses a bu uh, buff from the enemy. And then I think this skill, the attacking skill from UR Shinso, also can bind the enemy, which is more important i guess than decreasing the opponent's speed and i think the uh decreasing speed also is on this skill here on the brainwashing skill so it's a little bit um obviously the ui is going to be better but uh still the important effects from shinso are carried over to this sr so let's lower his speed oh we even got the confuse that's actually uh very lucky from us that would do his first skill here. You know, increase his power. And 14,000! 8,000 critical normal. That's actually really good. Let's do double plus ultra here. For level 70, that's actually very solid. And it wasn't even a crit. 37,000. All right, let's see Shinso's. 31,000. On par with the Nejure. On par. I love that his cooldowns are really low as well. And he's getting his crit rate up. Let's see how much he's got so far. 
crit rate up 45%. Um, okay, 45%. That's not bad. I don't know if it actually raises. I hope it does. Confuse again? No way. Critical again. Burn damage doesn't affect it, though. Uh, let's just do the normal skill here. 14,000 critical. Okay, target Shinso. Let's see if he survives this. Yes, he does. I just want to see if he... So, I think he only got hit four times. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not ideal. Because we got the confused so many times. We need to see it higher. That's for sure. I want to see it higher. Let's jump into it again. Because we just got really lucky with the confusions. Like, what's the chances? I didn't even read it properly. Low chance. The fact that we got a low chance twice. It's actually insane. And we got it again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we got one. So he's now at 40% crit rate. I just want to see if it stacks. That's all. Okay, we're just gonna just gonna keep doing this. Okay. So now he's at 45, yes. Heal you up. 15,000. This should be 50. Yeah, yeah, yes. We're growing. We're growing. Okay, this is we're underneath 50% HP now. We lose all that crit. So you do need to give him, like, um, advanced leveling HP up for sure. If you want to keep his crit rate up. I think he's going to be super good for VE Tower. This is, like, a must-have for, like... If you are if you don't have, like, the UR Shinso... Or, uh, and you need a green unit, this is like a must-have for VE Tower because you get the crit rate up, which makes it so good. Uh, and then he's got so many different effects as well, making him super good for these kind of stuff. You just need to, you know, fans level him, you know, put some investments into him. And even if we don't even get the buff, I mean, we still got, we got 35% crit rate. Like, we're almost at the 100% mark. <laughs> I wish, though, I imagine that fire hit with multiple hits counted as one. But yeah, so it does stack and everything like that. So uh, I'm going to conclude that showcase right there and uh, call it a day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. That was actually pretty sick. Actually, do not mind that SR Shinzo. He's definitely like a S tier SR unit. That's what I'm classifying as S tier SR unit. I thought before we end the video that I would always do a single summon for these SR showcases just to be a little bit more interesting because um, obviously not everybody watches the SR showcases. So this is for the few that make it to the end of this video. And we got SR Jiro. Okay, so that's free 20 points. I'll take it. So... If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. Check out my social medias linked in the description. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.